Hey everyone, Dr. Ted Morris here for realpettips.com, here to give you a few tips and some first aid ideas if your dog is getting overheated and at risk of getting heat stroke. I think the best way to deal with heat stroke is to prevent it. Don't even let it happen. If it's a really hot day out there, just kind of use some common sense. Don't go to the park at the hottest time of day. Don't run around in the full blazing sun. Maybe wait till it's a little bit cooler or just play in the shade for a little while. Hot, humid days are also ones you want to watch out for because dogs cool themselves down by panting. And if it's really humid out, they're not going to be able to pant as efficiently and they just won't cool down. Same thing goes for all you pugs, uh, bulldogs, Frenchies, anyone who's got that weird squished up face. They can barely breathe at the best of times and when it gets really hot, their panting is very inefficient. And just the sheer act of them panting can actually heat them up even more. So if your dog's looking a little hot, best thing to do is get them in the shade and cool them down by as many different ways as you can. Put a fan on them, uh, cover them in water, chuck them in the pool. If they're that hot, they will love it. Well, they may not love it, but they'll thank you for it later. You wanna basically try and cool them down by as many different ways as possible. Now, if you can't get to your vet, be careful that you don't overcool your dog. This is the time to grab a thermometer if you've got one handy. If your dog gets down to 40 degrees Celsius, which is still a little bit on the hot side, that's when you stop your cooling methods because if you cool your dog down too much, their body's gonna react to that and they're actually gonna try and heat themselves up again. So just think about anything that you would enjoy being cool. Cold water, nice breeze, nice cool tile floor. Bathrooms are great for this. Just get them out of the sun and try to get their bodies cool as quickly as possible. If you're doing all this stuff and your dog responds to it, they're nice and bright, their panting stops, that's fantastic. You've done your job, you've nipped heat stroke in the bud and you don't have to worry about it anymore. If you're doing all these things and your dog is just not cooling down and especially if they're getting worse, just get them in the car, drive to the vet crank the AC and if you don't have AC just roll all the windows down. Anything you can do that will help your dog's body temperature drop is going to make things much better when you finally end up at the clinic. If you like this video and want to see more content like it, don't forget to subscribe, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and visit realpettips.com.